I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to know about defense in Sparking Zero. If you're like me, you jumped in, did the tutorial, and then immediately jumped into the game. But if you don't actually go through any of the training, there's a ton of stuff that you don't learn about. So let's talk about defensive strategies. The first is the most obvious, which is blocking. But there's a few things that you really should know about when it comes to blocking. First off, you're vulnerable to a few things, specifically grabs and smash attacks. If you tilt your joystick, you can block smash attacks, but if you use the wrong block, you're going to leave yourself open to take even more damage. Also, when you fail to block a smash attack, it's going to drain your key. If you lose all of your key, you're going to be a sitting duck for a really long time, giving your opponent a chance to easily charge into sparking mode. You can perform smash attacks by holding X on Xbox or Square on PlayStation. Also, when blocking, if your enemy is just spamming a combo, you'll notice an opening right after the fifth hit, giving you an option to counter attack. Now let's talk about perception, because this is probably one of the most used defensive abilities online, but most people aren't breaking it down all the way. You can use perception by holding B on Xbox or Circle on PlayStation. You can hold it indefinitely, but it drains key while you're doing it, so keep this in mind. This allows you to automatically counter an enemy's attacks instead of holding perception. You can time it just as you're being hit to use super perception. If you use the super perception when your opponent is using a rush attack, that's how you activate the sonic sway. Super perception is also a great way to counter the super counter, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. Even though people are really abusing the perception mechanic, let's talk about two defensive abilities that seem to be really overlooked. The first is the revenge counter. By clicking in your right joystick at just the right moment, you can execute a revenge counter. It does use a skill point, but can be used even when you're getting comboed, so this can really help get you out of those situations. What's extremely important about this is that it can be used at any range and help you close the gap. This one is huge. Also, if someone revenge counters you and you time a super perception at just the right moment, you can counter their counter and it's a good feeling. The final mechanic that we're going to cover in this video is the super counter because this seems to be the most slept on defensive ability in the game and I don't see hardly anybody talking about it. Super counter can be used while blocking and during rush attacks. All you have to do is hit up and X on Xbox or circle on PlayStation to do this. It's important to know you don't have to hit up and your input at the same time. You can hold up the entire time and just time the button presses. This counter is really good because it's going to send your opponent flying, which is going to give you the opportunity to either charge up or follow up with a super attack. Remember guys, knowledge is only half the battle with these techniques because the timing is so precise with most of these that if you don't just go into a game and practice trying to do them, you're never going to get them down. So if this video helped you out, let me know in the comments and let me know if you guys have any questions.